Hi guys, today's DIY is going to be on this awesome strappy back bra, similar to ones you would see at stores like Brandy Melville, only this one offers the support and padding of an actual bra, so it's great to wear with backless tops. I hope you guys enjoy this and let's jump right into it. The first thing you will need is a black strapless bra. I got mine from Forever 21 for $7. Some scissors, a needle and thread, and you're gonna either need black elastic or bra straps, whichever you choose. The bra straps are a little bit more sturdy. For the first step, you're just going to flip over the bra, make sure you remove the straps, and you're just going to take the straps and measure exactly how long you need the straps. Like I said, I'm using bra straps because they were more sturdy than the elastic that I purchased. So if you are using elastic, make sure you get really sturdy elastic. So you're just gonna take the bra strap or elastic and measure from each end of the bra to see how long the strap needs to be in order to support the bra. So make sure that you do purchase a bra in your size. Like I said, mine's from Forever 21. It was only like $7 and I think 40 cents or something. And I wouldn't use like a Victoria's Secret bra or anything like that in case you mess up. You don't want to ruin a really nice expensive bra. So yeah, like I said, you're just going to cut the elastic to fit the back of the bra. And then you're just going to repeat this step for the other three straps. I'm just using the first one as a guideline to kind of cut which straps I need. And make sure you might want to leave a little extra space in case you make a mistake. But you're just going to repeat this process for the other two straps. Now if you want, you can do more than three straps. I just personally chose to do a three strap bra, but you can do four or five. I feel like even six straps would fit on the back of the bra. So you're just going to remove the excess and then cut each of the bra straps for the back of the bra. Now you're going to begin to cut the sides off of the bra using the underwire kind of as your guideline. Make sure you're also using sharp scissors for this part. It helps a lot. Just cut along that line of the underwire. Don't worry if it's not completely perfect because this part of the bra you're really not going to see and it might be a little hard to cut it off but mine was lace so it was pretty easy to cut through and you're just going to repeat the same process on both sides of the bra and like I said you don't really need to be super precise because you're not really going to see this part we just want those sides to be off the bra so we can add our straps so basically this is what the bra is going to look like after you cut the sides off. So this is the part where you need to take your needle and thread and I guess this would be a good time to confess to you guys that I don't really know how to sew. This is probably only my third time in my life trying to sew something. But don't worry because I was able to still pull off this DIY. It doesn't need to be perfect so if you don't know how to sew, don't worry. It's actually kind of simple to pull it off in this DIY because you're not going to see the stitches so like I said it doesn't have to be perfect. So you're just going to take your needle and your thread and you're just going to yeah thread the needle and I watched a video on this you can totally like look it up on YouTube if you need some extra help but basically you're just going to pull the thread through make sure it's nice and even and secure you're going to create like a double strand of the thread and then like I said just make sure it's nice and even line up the ends of it and then you're going to tie it in a knot but you want to first make sure that it's nice and even and then go ahead and create a knot at the end of the thread. For this part you're just going to line up your strap and take your needle and your thread and begin to sew the first strap at the very top of the bra. Now as you can see this part gets pretty complicated just because the bra is so thick and I'm using a bra strap so it's just a lot of material to go through. You're gonna have to kind of like tug at it a little bit and like you see I'm struggling a lot but eventually it will work out and it will go through and then you're just going to continue the same process stitching it a couple times to make sure that the strap is secure to the bra. Now that you're done stitching the last strand you're just going to create a loop like I just did and make a knot at the end and make sure it's nice and secure then you're going to take your scissors and cut off the excess thread and after you cut off the excess thread, you wanna make sure that you did a good job stitching and sewing and that that strap is on really secure. So just kinda of check it, wiggle it around. Make sure you don't need to go back in and do some more stitching because it needs to be nice and sturdy since you are wearing this as an actual bra. Now I'm not gonna show every single bra strap being sewed on because it's pretty much the same process. But you're just going to line it up, make sure it's nice and even and start sewing again. Like I said, the fabric's a little tough to get through just because it is so thick, but tough it out. And then 
you are going to just tie a knot when you're all finished and then take the scissors again and snip off the excess fabric. If you are using bra straps, keep in mind there's two different sides to the bra, so make sure you're putting the right one. You wanna have the nice and shiny side facing up, not the cloth part. That will ruin the whole DIY. And then you're just going to use your thumb and about a thumb length in between each strap is where you should start sewing them so they're nice and even and that's enough space for them. So I just fast forwarded through this part because I didn't want this video to be super long and it's basically the same process as before. You're just going to sew those straps on, make sure they're nice and secure because considering this is a bra, you do not want those straps going anywhere. And when you're all done sewing, this is what your finished product is going to look like. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY video. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up so I know to do more DIY videos for you guys. And if you decide to make this, make sure to tweet me a picture at Laguna Beach Love or tag me on Instagram at Laguna Beach Love. I will have both those links in the description box. And make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!